today I will be speaking about emptiness. And I think that uh, emptiness is something that everyone experiences. I'm talking about my own experiences and what I have realized. And one reason why I like to speak about it is because we read, we hear it, and uh, we don't have a personal experience of someone who has gone through it, who can speak about how they dealt with. I was talking to my friend yesterday and uh, he was expressing feelings and he said something about his emptiness. So at that moment I realized that the, what he needed was to be able to stay with his emptiness. He has faced this many, many times, as many people as myself have faced. But that was the moment for him maybe to really hear it. And I said to him, don't run from it. Just stay with it, just be present. Maybe." You are ready for this right now. I observe the world around us and I see people running here and there, buying, achieving, getting, so many things. Many things are motivated by our desires or our needs or our wants. But in many cases, they are motivated by this empty, emptiness that we feel inside. And we don't know how to deal. It's very scary. It's very painful. And we don't know how to deal with that emptiness. So we become anxious. And the more we feel it, the more anxious we become. We become scared go to a psychologist, or we go for help, or we buy things, and we increase, increase, increase our collections of things, still the emptiness persists. It comes a time when that emptiness is there all the time. No matter what you do, what you try to get, it never goes away. And I'm talking from experience because I know what that means. Because I was exposed to the spiritual learning, I understood that the real happiness or the real place of being is if I come to that place where I find that peace in that nothingness. So emptiness was that nothingness and uh, I stayed with it. It was difficult, but I stayed with it. And I like to speak about myself because it can relate to anybody else. If I went through it, anybody goes through it because we're all human beings. I can read in books, but to have that experience and hearing someone telling you their experience might make sense and might be helpful. So that's why I'm speaking in the first pre tense, in the present tense. So I'm speaking personally and also the experience that I see around me. I had an experience today with my own grandchild and uh, because I, I have achieved this kind of understanding I don't treat her the same way as somebody that uh, uh, might not have experienced this. So my relation to her is very different. I come from a different place. and uh, But I see that that place where I come from does not satisfy her mind, what she likes. And I see that that puts a distance between us. 
And uh, so I realized that I said, even a child, very, very young child, already develops this state where they need to be satisfied by things or they will not even recognize you. So, but I understand and I know that this is a process that uh, everyone has to go through. They have to satisfy that until they get so saturated that at the end they said, there must be more than this. And they search deep within themselves. And when they go deep within themselves, they just see darkness. They don't see anything. So they have emptiness, just surface, and they have to deal with. We run away from it. We try to find ways to hide from it, but we can't. When you get to that place where you're ready to manifest it and manifest something out of it, there is nothing that takes you away from it. So this is the time where you need the right guidance because you could go off the cliff too. Some people, that's why they go crazy, I think. But if they have this information where they can see that something can happen if uh, they persist with they will be led through it and out of it so i think this is a great place to be as painful as hard as it is is a great place to be and anyone that gets there it's very fortunate to get there and uh, I feel like I can take this opportunity also to wish Happy Mother's Day. On Sunday, it's going to be Mother's Day here in the United States and other parts of the world. I don't know if it's everywhere. Today is Thursday and uh, I want to wish Happy Mother's Day and most of all, thank the Earth for giving us this opportunity to be here. Om Shanti.